Well, good afternoon. It's uh, the 20th of March, 2012. Approximately 18 and a half years after CFS Bermuda closed in 1993. Since then, I've been coming back pretty much yearly and I've had the opportunity to see what has happened to the old CFS Bermuda. It has changed considerably over the years and it's had a rather checkered history to say the least over the last 18 and a half years and I'll walk through some of that with you and show you what's left of uh, the station hopefully I can still access most of it I haven't driven up on it yet this year to actually see what's open and what's not open for those who remember uh, shortly after the station closed in 93 it sat empty for a number of years I'm not exactly sure how many but at least five I actually think it might have been more like nine years before the Bermuda government did anything with the site there was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, apprehension as to what to do with this site the Malabar site uh, the naval annex and the old Kinley field all foreign military pulled out of Bermuda before uh, 2000 everybody was completely gone the uh, annex had shut down right before the Canadian base, then Malabar shut down, and then uh, Kinley Field was the last to go. So the Bermuda government was left with a lot of land, and they weren't really sure just what to do with it. So the first group that moved in was sort of this eco-type uh, system, I can't remember their name. And they had put up these cabanos, which you can see in this image. These cabanos are on stilts, they're over the water, and the whole idea was is you would come down, cheap vacation, no air conditioning, no TV, anything like that, be right on the water. There was a lot of controversy about it at the time. They said it would never last a hurricane, turns out it did. The problem is the hotel never lasted. Uh, there was no interest in it. It's too far from the airport. Tourism in Bermuda is at an all-time low. Uh, it wasn't getting any better, and sure enough, uh, it went under. A few years later, another group called Nine Beaches, which you can see the sign there, they reopened the site. Uh, it looked like it was doing a fairly decent business, but apparently it wasn't doing too well either. So it is has been empty for a few years now. I did take some pictures last year from the water. Uh, if you visit my website, um, you'll be able to see those. Be happy to give it to anybody who wants. Um, but this is my first time back with a small video camera. It's just a GoPro, so I'm not sure how, uh, how good the quality will be, but it'll give you an idea of what's here. So, those who remember, this is the front gate. Not much to see. This, obviously, the Canadian Forces sign is long since gone. Nine beaches was put up. And there's the front gate. So, I'm going to drive around a little bit. Excuse the jerkiness and see what, we can, uh, see what we can see up here. And I'll show you what's left and what's not left. And I'll probably edit a lot of this out. <laughs> So for those who remember the lower station, this is where the junior ranks used to be in the mess. That was all pulled down and a parking lot was put in. And over on the right used to be where the Canics was and you can see that's all gone as well. It has moved on as well. <laughs> and that was very shortly after it uh, shut down that all that moved. Still surviving is the old senior ranks mess, and the uh, and the uh, the mess there, and that was the barracks up in there for the seniors. Bit of a pain driving with a tripod on the bike. For 
those who are wondering, you can still smell the, uh, the cow patties from the cow farm. And the CO's residence is still here, the Mara Lee. Not sure who's living in there now, but uh, it doesn't appear to have been abandoned in any way, shape, or form. Actually, it's still called the Commander's Quarters, if you can see it in the, uh, the video there. As you can see, things have uh, definitely deteriorated quite a bit over the years. This is the uh, Junior Ranks Barracks. I took a beating in a hurricane a number of years ago. Uh, I can't remember how long ago now, but uh, within the last 10 years, the roof was uh, ripped off on the other side. Now they've got rental units in here, and there's squatters living in some of the cabanos and stuff, so it's not a very desirable place anymore, which is a shame. If you look over to the right, you can see the uh, the old beach and stuff down there. The public beach was on one side and the uh, the base was on the other. But we'll go down a little closer where you can see what's going on. See the back end of the old headquarters building there what's left of that and some more of the barracks as to what's left pretty uh, pretty rough shape to say the least it's a shame because when nine beaches was here they actually did keep the place fairly clean and straightened up but with the the weather down here it when you abandon something it doesn't take very long for it to fall all fall apart So, oh, this is the key area where everyone would remember. This is the old headquarters building. Very, very deteriorated. Lots of debris around. Nobody's doing any landscaping. And the old operations center. Ironically, the, uh, the, the uh, Tempest Room is still in there. And uh, if you notice, there's a sign on the outside. It's called the Vault. Uh, nine beaches had named all the different rooms. They actually had no idea what uh, what the lead line room was all about, but uh, I educated a few of them here a number of years ago when it was still open. For those who were here in the final three years, uh, we'll remember we had built a rec center onto the back across the street here, which is down on the beach. It became the reception hall for the actual, uh, um, for the nine beaches. And some say this building was the reason why Bermuda closed. Hey, they spent a lot of money on this building, putting it in at the tail end, plus Bowes Island where we were all living and all that stuff. But this building cost a lot of money to build. And we'll take a run down the hill. There's another look at operations, what's left of it. I see a keg in there. That's kind of ironic. <laughs> but it's uh, definitely not very nice. See if I can coast my way down. Oh, they got a big chain up. So we'll take a little walk around. Here's the back end of the station for those who remember that. I'll take a quick walk.
So most people remember this was the uh, road that went up to the antenna pad. The uh, center building that was in the middle of the antenna is still up there. Although you can't see it from this angle due to the cabanos. Beaches are all still here. They're for public use. But you can really only get at them from, uh, from the water unless you come down here and hop a lot of fences. That's the uh, rec center that was built. They did make some modifications to it from what we had done to it when it was built. But overall, it, uh, it was a nice little building. It's too bad we never really got here. Somebody it. has lost their sailboat, which is now up on what's left of the beach. It is winter, so there is uh, a lot of debris on the beach, as you can see. I'll put this down, make it a little bit more stable. Apologies for the poor camera work. But that's a view most people should remember. That's where the weight room was, change rooms. I see the uh, barbecue pits are now long since gone. The beach is a mess. The rec center, all the foliage is growing up and around. You can see the stumps here where the uh, the pine trees were before they pulled them down. That was uh, where we used to uh, the dive shack. Behind that is the uh, where we used to keep all the sailboat stuff and all the boat material. The original dock you can see is still out there. Although they did on, add on this other piece many uh, years ago for uh, the different water sports that they had here. So out on the end of the dock Lots of people will remember that rock structure out there. A lot of us just snorkeled around that. It's not a very nice day. It's about 20 degrees centigrade, but it is it is still fall, early spring here. These are the cabanos that were put up. Most of them are falling apart now. The old boat shed. dive shack, looking down the dock, rec center, barracks, what's left of the beach. Not as pretty as it used to be.